What's up guys, I'm going to do another Black Ops 3 Zombies video and the Descent DLC 3 trophy slash achievements have been leaked slash released and they all look pretty good so yeah, let's go over what all of them are. So the first one is a hidden trophy, this is obviously the easter egg. The next one is called Wield the Fist of Iron and Grove Kurovi Wield the Gauntlet of Siegfried. I assume this is probably the that Ripper specialist thing we saw in the trailer. Um, the next one is called Time Attack and Gorod Kurovi Complete Time Attack Round 20. Maybe you have to get to round 20 by a certain amount of time. I don't, I don't, I don't know, I have no idea what this means. Maybe there's something specific that happens on round 20. Next one is called Taking Flight in Gorod Kurovi Ride a Dragon. This one doesn't seem like it'd be too hard. Um, in the trailer we saw there was this little platform thing that you can go and get onto and I assume that you'll just have to go up to it and like spend maybe like a thousand points or something and it'll be kind of like the tram from Shadows of Evil where it'll just take you to a different portion on the map and it doesn't seem too hard it's only a bronze trophy next one is not one inch in Gorod Kurovi complete a lockdown event this sounds like it was in Mob the Dead like Mob the Dead uh, had an achievement where you'd have Brutus lock down every single perk and everything in the map so Maybe it's similar to that, where those like big old juggernaut looking guys can like lock down stuff. Who knows? Next one is Victorious Revenge in Garod Kurovi. Complete all solo trials in one game. So this sounds like the challenges we saw in Zetsubo no Shima. So you have to complete like all three challenges or all three trials in one game. If they're like any of the ones we got in Zetsubo no Shima, it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes you can get some really easy ones but other times you can get some like really you know annoying and hard ones uh, the next trophy is vaporized in Gorod Kurovi use the Gigan beam to kill 20 zombies in one activation so I am assuming just some sort of trap uh, next one is fire mission in Gorod Kurovi kill 8 zombies with a single dragon strike this sounds like the G strike grenade that we had in origins where with that once you got that grenade you know you could throw it down and missiles and rockets and stuff would shoot out of the robots and come down and just rain fire on wherever you threw it. So maybe this is like the same thing where you throw it and then a bunch of dragons come over and then start breathing fire and just like absolutely obliterate wherever this thing lands. And it's only a bronze trophy so it shouldn't be too hard. Next one is blown away in Grod Grovi kill 10 zombies at once with the guard of Fafnir. So I have no idea what that is. Maybe that's that ripper thing we saw. The last one that we have is Zombie Pult and Gorod Kurovi launch 10 zombies into the air at the same time. So we did see that little like um, flinger trap thing in the trailer. So maybe that's exactly what, you know, how you get this trophy. It's only a bronze trophy, so it, you know, it shouldn't be too hard to get. And it also makes sense, you know, you just round up 10 zombies, go over there, and then you just launch them all into the air with this flinger trap. But there you guys go. We have 10 trophies with this map pack. None of them seem super hard. We actually have a trophy slash achievement for the Easter egg, just like we got in Dreisendrock and also in Zetsu Onoshima. But all the rest of these don't sound super hard. Uh, they just sound like stuff, you know, you specifically have to do, like launch 10 zombies into the air, kill 8 zombies with the Dragon Strike, you know, stuff you could probably easily get on just by randomly playing the map. You don't really have to go for many of these. So yeah, tell me what you guys think of these in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.